Hi, this is Sonia from Cosmic Harmony. This is a free tarot reading. Remember, our external world and experiences are a reflection of our inner world. And with tarot, we can look at these experiences and gain a better understanding of our subconscious patterns and beliefs, which are primarily responsible for creating our reality. By becoming more aware of these patterns, we can break through illusions we have created and discover who we really are and what we really want to experience making creation a more conscious experience if you'd like a personal reading please email me at the email address down below also there's information about my writing stories and world meditations and how to donate also i welcome and appreciate any likes shares and subscribes and comments hi this message is for pisces sun moon rising or Venus, um, or anyone that's drawn to this message. <clears throat> also remember it could be for a cross watcher, so the energies could go, um, either way. But, so, okay, so I'm going to start right here. Um, I'm showing that you may be harboring some type of resentment um for a see your life may have been seeming like it's been going in cycles like the same thing over and over again or you may have been going through a cycle with a person and it's like you almost feel like you're just kind of like down in the dumps almost a little bit i'm not getting like a real depressed feeling so much but just kind of like eh, you know and um, one of the oracle cards I got was cultivation. And one thing this suggests is that um, music can really help you as far as getting you your energy elevated and your like your spirit elevated so that you're not feeling that down feeling because your thoughts and your feelings are going to create anyway so um it can help get you out of that mindset and i think what i'm getting is that by getting yourself back into that elevated state you're going to be able to listen to your intuition better because i'm showing that there's um some events coming up where it's important for you to be able to hear your intuition know what to do and how to act um so, uh, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about too is the harboring, the resentments that you're harboring because um, there is a suggestion, let me see, basically it's like um, if you harbor resentments, you're, you tend to repeat the same cycle again because it's like your underlying beliefs about how your life is going to go. And that's why we got the wheel here. It's because it like keeps going in this like crappy, good, crappy, good, crappy, like, you know what I mean? Like cycle. Okay. And if you want to create something new, then it's like you need to remove that cycle of belief from your um, belief system. And I... What I'm getting is that music's going to help you in some way. I don't know if you're a musician or if it's just listening to music, but that's a what the cards are suggesting, okay? Um, then you've got, so you've got the next one that shows up is Ghostland Reversed. And we've got um, the Two of Voices, the Six of Voices, and then... The eight of materials okay so let's see ghost land that's number 17 the ghost lands reversed is basically suggesting that you're like thinking about the good old days and what you had and what you lost but and you may have um, just been working a lot with this eight of Pentacles and what I'm showing is actually you moving away from some conflict right here with the six of voices 
and it's almost like you go to kind of like some kind of retreat or spa like maybe you were giving yourself a vacation see how she's stepping over these spikes but she's like in the woods and then I'll show you the next card that comes up is um, spirit of place reversed okay and then that one is clarified with this knight of inspiration which is the card of Sagittarius can also be Leo or, or Aries and then uh, the four of voices okay so what I'm seeing though is that you're basically taking off to go rejuvenate yourself okay um, the four of voices is about healing um, taking time to get um, it's right after like the three of swords and the tarot so it's like taking the three swords out of your heart and healing basically so it's something that's healing and what I'm showing is that you may have had um, well there's movement here so it's like I don't know maybe you traveled um, yeah, I'm just looking at you. It look, looks like that you traveled somewhere to rejuvenate yourself. Um, but basically it's like, um, a letting go. So the next card you got is compass. Okay. This is where I'm showing like, um, your intuition needs to come in because I'm showing that your basically your thoughts are materializing into your reality okay and this is what you have the potential for the muse of materials which is like um abundance in all ways so it's abundance um f physically so like physical abundance like money um wealth plus it's like joy happiness relationships okay you're bringing this into reality and so it's really important that you're paying attention to your internal compass okay and the next card I've got I'm actually showing that you have a relationship forming coming in the next card I got is commitment okay and this is talking about a relationship and the cards that clarified it. Uh, we got the lovers. <laughs> okay. The lovers, the fool, and the page of inspiration. It could be a Gemini, it could be a, an Aries, and this could be a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. But what I'm showing with, with these cards is that um, the fool... The fool is um, basically takes a leap of faith. So like by you listening to your intuition and jumping on something, I'm showing is how you're going to run into this person, meet this person, come together with this person. And so, and you could either be messaging them or they're messaging you, sending you a message or you're doing that to them. But I'm showing that that's how this whole thing is starting. Now, there is some type of connection between you and this person. It could be, um, something from like a past life or something, if you believe in that. But, but what I'm showing is that when you meet this person, you're going to feel like a pull towards them or a draw towards them and they will to you, okay? But I am showing that this person that's showing up is going to act a bit like they've got boundaries up, like borders, walls up with this nine of inspiration. Like they look like they're almost kind of far away. And it's because they've been killing killing <laughs> carrying this ten of inspiration with them see they've got all these burdens that they've been 
walking uphill carrying trying to get ahead of and they haven't been able to get ahead of it and so they come off a little bit standoffish if that makes sense um, but I'm showing that what they don't realize is that with this queen of inspiration this can indicate a Leo Sagittarius or Aries but this person is like bringing you into their life because they with the queen of inspiration she like attracts things to her things and people are attracted to her because um she's well you can see too she's got like this third eye connection right here i don't know if you can tell in this on camera but she doesn't have to chase after things and that might that's the energy that this person is coming in with and I'm showing that there is going to be a new beginning with this person here you are okay this is uh, the card of Aries the hanged muse but what I'm actually showing this energy okay here's the ace of inspiration this is a new passionate start new beginning okay but I'm showing is like this person was acting standoffish, but then tuned in with this third eye and gained a new perspective. See, this is like a third eye connection too, right here. And got this new perspective. Okay. Now what I'm showing, the next card that I'm showing is that the gem, okay? Now the gem is something that there's a lot of meaning to this. So the gem is something that um, you treasure or that you have within you. Um, but a lot of times we it's something that we want we want to see it in the material world, okay? And so I feel like. Either you are looking at this person like that or they are looking at you like that. Um, now we've got the Temperance card. This is the card of Sagittarius you could be dealing with. But this is like divine timing and actually uh, like faded meetings. Okay. And it's clarified with the Ace of Materials, which is a solid... Um, stable new beginning that's going to bring in a lot of abundance okay um the next card that came out was the vow <laughs> this is about um this is about commitments and it can be marriage or not it doesn't have to be marriage but there's some type of commitment or and it's like um also with this this is the Hierophant, could be a Taurus, um, but this is a, like inspirational spiritual, le spiritual leader. So it's like whatever this um, commitment is, it has like a higher purpose to it. Does that make sense? It's not just about like um, a relationship here down on earth where you go to work at your nine to five job that you hate or whatever there's like some type of higher purpose to this commitment where um i'm just looking at just it's you can see that like people are looking up to this person and it's almost like i don't know something about being looked up to in this commitment or something like that but it's also got this card which is another card of family okay family and also abundance material abundance uh relationships um that are forming like these people are holding the hands okay and then this is like an erotic card <laughs> Um, this is like sensuality, the kiss, okay? Um, so 
So it's funny because I, okay, the first two cards I got was I got the Nine of Materials and the Knight of Voices. So what I'm, it looks like, it's like the horse and the person are like running towards each other. Okay. And with the Knight of Voices, that's like fast moving energy. So I feel like this relationship is going to be fast. This Nine of Materials is someone who's like free, abundant. It's like that's their energy that they carry. And I'm showing that this person is like, it could be a Leo with this card. The Knight of Voices could also be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, just so you know. Um, but I'm seeing like, you carrying that energy. Well, it could go either way. It's you, either you or them carrying that energy. But it um, with the sun, it's like this is like the hap the happiness card. It's supposed to be like the happiest card in the deck. So because um, the sun, it's like it doesn't have any shadows because when it goes places, like if the sun were to travel around, <laughs> uh, like, you know, to the shadows, it would brighten up the shadows. So. And if you see in this card, too, like the, the sun is shining right behind. It's like there's a little circle of clouds in front of the sun. But anyway, but what I'm showing is that it's actually bringing in this relationship is bringing in justice. And it could be for one or both of you. And it's bringing in justice for some situation. It's bringing in uh, abundance, too, with the Empress. This is like create creation and abundance. Um, if you guys are at the age or something, it could mean pregnancy, too. Um, but this is like a lot of creative energy. But the justice I'm seeing is that there was a situation that one of you was dealing with where it could have been with a another cancer Pisces, Pisces or Scorpio with the Queen of Cups because I'm showing that it was something that you felt like stuck in um, you or this other person they felt stuck it you felt stuck in it uh, you didn't want it. And it's funny because like you see these two people kissing and she's looking at this empty glass. So it's like a relationship you felt empty in or vice or it could have been the other person. OK, and um, I'm showing that like that. Well, I've got here the death card and the world card. So it's like bringing in justice for this situation that one or you, one of you was in that was unfulfilling, like you felt stuck in. There could have been, what I'm getting actually with this card is that one of you could have had another person. There could have been like a third party or like just something was interfering with the relationship. And so this new relationship that's coming in is like bringing in justice for that unjust situation is what I'm seeing. So um, that is all I got for you, Pisces. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, I appreciate that. And also, if you want a personal reading, you can um, email me at the address down below. All right. Thank you.